A lot of people know you because of the song La La La, obviously. <laughs> you know, but I know that before you released La La La, you were a really successful musician. But La 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 really took the things to the next level. Yeah, definitely. How did that happen? I made this song with Y2K. I remember we were driving back from this place. We like drove back, we were like, all right, let's sit down. He immediately started playing the melody. And then I started, I went like, uh, uh, uh. And then he was like, yo, that's fire. And then I wrote it really quick. We wrote the hook like within five minutes. And then I went into the booth. Believe it or not, the take of me actually saying, did I really just forget that melody is the same take going into it. Wow. It, it wasn't staged at all. We were gonna delete it because we were like, is this too like unorganic? And like we put it out, we didn't get any playlisting, nobody helped us. And then TikTok just grabbed it and it just went Wow. Immediately, like I got this meme made for twelve dollars, and then I mean the song is just catchy. It's like the first song I, when I perform that like everyone says every single lyric to. It's really dumb lyrics, but it's like <laughs> every single person in that crowd knows every single lyric to it, and it's like you know Drake's probably heard it too, and he's like he's That's from true. Canada.